I just accidentally solved Nikola Tesla's 369 code. So if you don't know who Nikola Tesla is, he's a famous inventor from the past with many inventions including the AC motor and the Tesla coil. The numbers I will be solving are from one of his quotes that follows, If only you knew the magnificence of the 3, 6, and 9, then you would have the key to the universe. Also, I was bored as because I was doing homework, so I decided to do this instead. So I searched up some music to help me concentrate, I got to work, I started doing stuff, and yeah. Okay, so when I went on to the actual solving part of the mystery of the code 369 that Nikola Tesla gave us, the first thing that came in mind was geometry. I don't know why, but it just came into my mind while I was listening to the music. So I decided to place it in this order, just three, six, nine. And then with all the other numbers in between, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a circle. And then I decided, hmm, what if I connect all of them to each other? So I just did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. And then, in, and then I looked at it slowly and I'm like, hmm, that kind of looks like shapes in there. I wonder what it would look like if I perfected its circle like this one. So I went on to do that, right? So I did this perfect circle right here and I did that. I did exactly that. And then I went right here in this circle. I placed it in this order, three, six, nine, and I did that triangle because for some reason it just, it just seems to fit, you know, triangle in a circle. And then I placed those numbers in between one, two, three, four, yada, yada, yada. And then I connected all of them to each other. So one to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, and so on and so forth. And then I realized, hmm, this one looks kind of looks like the Masonic symbol that they have for their thing or whatever. And then I realized, wait a minute, what if I connect these side numbers to their to the just the three main numbers, three, six, nine? So that's what I did. But yeah, I did that. One, two four, six, eight, so one, two, three, nine, and six, and so on and so forth with the other ones in between. But when I had, I started to have a problem here because I didn't know how to space them out evenly. So I placed a little right line right here in between both of these numbers, and then I placed that, and then I placed, you can still see the marks. And I'm like, hmm, what if I place a three, six, nine right there with three, six, and then a nine? And then it hit me. Hmm, wait a minute. And there's a three on each side that I put it on. What if I connect all those three to the top three that I put down right there to see if that'll happen anything. And then I decided to do that. So I made a completely new circle. I placed all the threes. Look, there's that three, place it right there. There's that three, I connected it right there. And then there's that three, I connected it over here. And then I'm like, hmm, what if I do it for the six as well? And then I connected the, the six, all the sixes to that six. And then I realized, wait a minute, there's not enough sixes. So I'm like, hmm, what else could I do? And I just decided to mess around and I just did it that and just used the three and connected all those because there's two on each side. So it eventually equal to six So two, four, six. And then I thought, eh, just fuck it. And then I put, I connected, since there's three on each side, when I try to evenly spacing out, uh, what's it called? It equal nine, right? And then I thought, uh, all right, whatever. May as well search it up to try to see what I can find. And then I realized that the meaning is that you could you could accomplish whatever you want three times if you, or if you repeat it or write it to yourself three times in the morning, six times in the day and night, nine times in the night. But then I realized, holy shit, if I got stuck right here on this six trying to solve it, and since Nikola Tesla was stuck on these three numbers, he, he was obsessed with them. He probably did the same thing I did and eventually he got right here and he tried to solve it for a month. So by the time he was doing it and he realized, oh, I finally solved it. Maybe this is, maybe this is why. And then, you know, he eventually started using that method to try to solve it. Whatever, whatever he wanted to, whatever he wanted to make, he'd want it. Everybody, I'm sorry. I'm really bad at explaining. It was already half a day later and... I already forgot most of what I was going to say and explain, you know, it was just hard for me. So, yeah. So in conclusion, do I think the numbers are important? No, it's just human psychology. We can, whatever we think of hard enough, what if we focus on it hard enough, we can eventually accomplish our goal. But he probably uses just as a standard for himself because every human is different. Everyone accomplishes their goals different. So he probably used it. And then for, well, since this, it, since this worked with me, I was able to solve it. it. I guess it'll work with me, I guess, but whatever. 
So if he was able to do it, then yeah. Really just depends if you want to accomplish your goal in life or not. Because there's plenty of entrepreneurs who solve their goals without using this stuff. Everyone just has their own different mindset and stuff, you know. Alright, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. See you guys next time and bye-bye.